Hey, I'm Watts. The United Wrestling Network is partnering with Pro Wrestling Cares along with West Coast Pro Wrestling and Defy Wrestling to help raise money for civil rights organizations. It's important to donate because without your help, nothing will be accomplished. Things will stay the way they are, oppression will continue, and nothing will get better. If you have the means, please donate. Any amount helps. Thank you. The following is a presentation of the United Wrestling Network. Welcome to Championship Wrestling, presented by West Coast Pro Wrestling. I am Bimbo Jimbo Kincaid, coming to you again out of the Casa de Bimbo here in San Francisco. And I am taking you back into the archives for another classic edition of Championship Wrestling. On today's episode, the Hollywood Heritage Champion Watts will be in action. But in our main event, it will be the new tag team champions Adrian Quest and Uptown Andy Brown in a non-title match against Wasted Youth. All that and more on this episode. This is Championship Wrestling, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. The following contest is a non-title singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Las Vegas, Nevada, Jai Vidal! Welcome everyone to action here on Championship Wrestling from Hollywood as we celebrate a decade of action. Thanks for joining us in our 10th year here, making a debut debut in an enviable fashion is Jay Vidal. Jay Vidal is, he's something all right, I'll, I'll give you that. This is this is probably the, the most uh, flamboyant, and, oh God, a nice little treat for our fans here in Hollywood. All smiles so far, that might change in a hurry. And introducing his opponent, he is the Hollywood Heritage Champion. This is Watts. And over those 10 years of championship wrestling from Hollywood, the more things change, the more they stay the same. One constant, one constant has been the dominance of this big man, Watts. Back in the day, had legendary battles with the likes of Scrap Iron Adam Pierce for the 10 pounds of gold. Now he stands, stands proudly as the Hollywood Heritage Champion. It's like a tree trunk grew legs and out came Watts. This man is dangerous. The fans love him. This does not bode well for Vidal. Let's see how long he lasts with this monster by the name of Watts. Now well, the faithful here in the ocean view Pavilion, maybe a little bit of foreshadowing. Vidal, a great young competitor, however. Originally out of Miami, Florida, very flashy. Yeah, very, very, very flashy. A lot of movement, too. A lot of kinetic energy. Just, it looks like watching Akeem in there. This is just crazy. Well, that's not gonna get it done. The power on display by Watts. Here's a fun fact for you. Jay Vidal trained in his early stages of his career by the vampire warrior Gangrel. Well, this might be a bloodbath. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, you know what? I, I, Vidal is just, he's just mesmerized. Oh, I've never seen a slap look so incredibly pretty. And, and Vidal is very proud of himself. But that's a mistake there, Kennelly. Big shot there by Watts. You don't tug on Superman's cape, you don't spit in the wind, you don't slop, slap Watts in the face. And Vidal's paying for it now, look at this. Pillar to post. Almost landed in our laps there, Kelly. Vidal might like that. This is a really, really bizarre young man. Let me tell you something. He made him very angry, very, very foolish, as he goes up and down for the second time. That slap, the disrespect, the only offense here by Vidal thus far. Not where you want to be, in the launch position, scooping a slam with authority. Watts just driving Vidal through the canvas. Maybe showing some mercy, going for the cover. Vidal kicks out. Well, Vidal is, is, is very, um, 
Well, he's stupid. Ken Lee, let's just be honest. He's stupid. Why would he kick out of that for crying out loud? Watts is a monster. He must not have watched any of his matches because Watts does not play around in there. Oh, no. No, he's just going to make him more angry. Nice counter strike, still by Vidal. He got himself out of that DNR that do not resuscitate. So you got to be impressed with the fire of Jay Vidal now trying to chop down the tree. Big shot upstairs. You know, recently an agile opponent voted quite well with Watts, talking about the. Uh, the uh, Stroke Daddy in uh, Starks. Look out here though. Oh, the power on display again. The knee bends in a weird fashion. <laughs> now the body bends the same way. Big right hand by Watts. His brain is bending backwards after that shot from Watts. Watts is just capitalizing on this poor young man. Stop the match. He's already dead, Kennelly. Knees went weak there. And there you see it. You may dispense with the pleasantries. Choke force, Watts gets it done. Nice to see you. Here is your winner, Watts! Another big win by Watts, who continues to just leave a wake of total destruction here on Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Jeff Resnick here at Championship Wrestling. Jeff Resnick? From, from Jeff Resnick! You mean it? You mean to tell me that we had all our interviewers poached and we got Jeff Resnick back? Oh, man. I can't believe it. Welcome I, back. I, I appreciate the, uh, the warm welcome, Ray. <laughs> um, anyway, I did want to ask you guys, uh, later on you have a tag team uh, match, uh, Andy Brown, Adrian Quest against Wasted Youth, but it's not for the titles. Why is that? Of course not. I mean, we've been static here in Championship Wrestling from Hollywood for way too long. And now that we have the tag team championships, we have the power. We have the power to decide when we are gonna defend these championships. And we didn't win these titles with no act of God, no force of nature, no help from the office. We did it on our own. And we're gonna to continue to do everything on our own and we're gonna do what we want, when we want. But I know that all the guys in the back, people in the office, people watching at home, and even you, returning Jeff Resnick, who cares? All right, well there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Later on, Andy Brown, Adrian Quest against Wasted Youth in a non-title tag team bout. Here's an important message from the Diabetes Solution Center. Diabetics understand all too well the pain of pricking your fingers. But now, by wearing a small remote device called a Continuous Glucose Monitor, or CGM, you can immediately reduce your pain. It's easy to use and helps you make more accurate diabetes treatment decisions. If you are testing your blood sugar four or more times daily, injecting insulin three or more times daily, or using an insulin pump, call the Diabetes Solution Center right now to learn about this groundbreaking new CGM technology. And if you have Medicare, you can get a new CGM at little to no out-of-pocket cost. Shipping is free, and we'll even bill your insurance company for you. If you are testing your blood sugar four or more times daily, injecting insulin three or more times daily, or using an insulin pump, call the Diabetes Solution Center right now to learn how you can get your own continuous glucose monitor or CGM at little to no out-of-pocket cost. This is a paid advertisement for legal services by Philip Georges. Do not stop taking prescriptions without consulting a physician. Attention, the heartburn medication Zantac has been linked to cancer. The FDA has called for the popular over-the-counter heartburn medication Zantac to be pulled from the market. If you were diagnosed with cancer and were a daily user of Zantac, call attorney Philip Georges and join the Wolf Pack right now. Zantac may have caused your cancer. I'm attorney Phil Georges. If you or a loved one were a daily user of the heartburn medication Zantac and were diagnosed with cancer, you may be entitled to substantial compensation. If you were diagnosed with breast, stomach, bladder, kidney, pancreatic, colon, or any type of cancer after using Zantac, call attorney Philip Georges and join the Wolf Pack. You may qualify for a cash award. Call 1-800-651-2929. That's 1-800-651-2929. 1-800-651-2929. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, inventor of MyPillow. Thanks to your support, you've helped make MyPillow become one of the fastest growing companies in America. 
Over the last 12 years, you've helped my pillow create thousands of jobs right here in the USA. When I got my pillow, I'm asleep almost immediately. I stay asleep at night and I wake up more well rested in the morning. That's why I invented my pillow. My patented fill adjusts to your exact individual needs and helps keep your neck supported and aligned. I'm interrupting this commercial right now to give you deep discounts, not just on my pillows, but also my mattress topper sheets and so much more. For example, you can get body pillows regularly $89.99, only $29.99 with your promo code. With our 60 day money back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Sleep well, America! For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit mypillow.com. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, being accompanied to the ring by Kid Isaac, the team of Sweet Robin Shaw and Super Beetle, the Friendship Farm. Boo! Boo! Give it a rest, Jassic. Boo! Nobody likes you here. God, I hate them, Kennelly. I hate what them all is, so what, much, Kennelly. What is not to like? And after a bit of dissension, the Friendship Farm back on the same page, been getting some big victories, and oh. this is a huge opportunity when it comes to the pecking order of the tag team division here on Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. Oh, how proud they must be. Oh, Sheldon Cooper, poor Sheldon Cooper is getting squeezed. Hugs all around. And introducing their opponents from Meat Mountain at a combined weight of 485 pounds, Latino Meat, Che Cabrera, and Bad Dude Tito, the Wolf Daddies. Always a howling good time when the Wolf Daddies are in the house. Two big guys really put together undefeated since galvanizing as a team here on Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. Victories over the likes of the Classic Connection might have caused the disbandment of the Classic Connection. Couple wins over Wasted Youth. They, these two have been on absolute fire. Big men, bad attitudes, all a very deadly combination for their opponents. And you know what, this might finally, I don't like the Wolves Addies very much, but they might finally give me my one wish, and that's to put an end to these joking numb nuts, the Friendship Farm. I'll tell you what, if I'm Robin Shaw, I'm heading to the house made of bricks. Well, if I was Robin Shaw, I'd be heading to the house made of ice cream. Kennelly, I don't know what to say about it. You know what I'm saying? The straw house, stick house doesn't really work. Straw, stick. Yeah, okay. Puffing, puffing. No, no, right over my head, Kennelly. Right over. Oh, my God. Don't do it. I don't uh, figure that Cabrera much of a hugger. No, I wouldn't figure Cabrera much of a hugger either. Robin Shaw, I wouldn't consider much of anything unless it's a you know waist lock into an overhead belly to belly suplex perhaps a lot of belly <laughs> yes i'd like to one i'd like to see that happen big shot though by oh. the big man and you know jacob bear is very you know what look he's twitching his, his, oh. his muscles are twitching from that oh. bull rushing sweet robin shaw all the way back to the opposite corner now the irish whip a whole lot of momentum behind that uh oh big bear hug big bear hug by shaw and deposits Latino meat in their part of town. Tag made. Super Beetle in there. Great double team offense in the early going. Friendship Farm might get him just like that. No powering out is Cabrera. Now I'm a little surprised that Robin Shaw and Super Beetle are working so well together. There's obviously dissension in the ranks, and we've been saying it for weeks and weeks and weeks now. Super Beetle and Robin Shaw absolutely hate each other. They can pretend to love each other all they want, but they know that there's a tension boiling right there. Oh, look out here! Oh my wow, God. all you can eat flapjacks. What a shot there. A double team maneuver. Bad dude, Tito checks in, looking for the pin, looking for the win, only a count of two. Uh, Robin Shaw just doing every single thing he can to power out of that pin. And he's gonna need all that power with a man like Tito right ahead of him because that's a very, very scary situation to be in. Look at this, abuse now being taken by, by Tito to Robin Shaw. More aggressive than perhaps ever before when you talk about the bad dude, and that is saying something. Short arm clothesline. Look at the body positioning there, and in comes Latino Meat with the senton. Tag is made, they remain fresh. And Shaw is in big, big trouble in the early going. Into the cover now, that could put him away. 
Digging down deep, his shot. You know what I think the Wolves had is, honestly, they're making a real pivotal mistake right now. I wouldn't jump on somebody like, like Shaw. I wouldn't jump. It's, it's like one of those big blippies on the lake. You know, when somebody goes and like somebody comes flying off of it. I'm surprised they didn't go through the roof here at the Ocean View Pavilion. I go right through the Hollywood sign. Keeping Shaw, though, in their corner. Look at this, leaving his feet. Total d -cleater. Incredible, impressive by Cabrera. Cabrera, oh, wasn't the legal man. Oh, I thought Cabrera was just being ignorant right there. No, 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 no. It wasn't ignorant. It wasn't arrogance. It's very, very smart by Cabrera. Get out of there and, and let the legal man in there. You don't want to lose to someone like the Friendship Farm. That is just embarrassing. We've never seen Sweet Robin Shaw decimated like this. He's usually the powerhouse of any matchup he's involved in. Seemingly met his match, but look at this, showing a lot of heart. Shot after shot with the forearms. The reversal, though. Athleticism, as athleticism, take it, oh my goodness, he did it, we talked about it, and he did it, exploder suplex. Shaw goes down in a heap. Shaw's not used to getting thrown around like this. I wouldn't imagine so. What is Shaw, like seven, 800 pounds? Nobody could pick that man up like that. Tito's an absolute monster, and so is Che. Again now, very bad news for Mr. Shaw. He is at the Wolf Saddie's mercy. Sound strategy here, trying to further wear down Shaw. He's got to carry all that body weight around. Full head of steam, though. Wrist control. Oh, a little bit of a beetle butt there. He learned that from his partner, who now checks in. Super Beetle is fresh. He's been hanging in the hive. He's ready. He's got that stinger loaded and ready to go. Again, now working as a team is Robin Shaw and Super Beetle, much to my surprise, because these two absolutely hate each other. Once again, though, Super Beetle using that illegal horn on the top of his head. But look behind you now, because you got company. Springing off there into that beetle buster. Uh-oh, look out now, Shaw in with a Saito suplex. Incredible. I would, don't envy the official in this thing. Here's the cover, close call. That might be the closest we've ever seen the Wolf Zaddies to being put away. Now let's be honest here, Shaw is not the legal man. He's in there very illegally. There's absolute chaos going on right now. They should have been disqualified already. We know this, Kennelly. Well, you know, both teams know how important this matchup is in terms of climbing that ladder to a tag team title opportunity. Look out here though. Double spinning forearms there by the Wolf Zaddies. Isolating Shaw again, a little high low. That'll get you 15 on a gridiron, perfectly legal here. And they decimate the big man. Super Beetle back in. That's who they need to concentrate on. They need to concentrate on the legal man. The legal man is here who's going to be able to seal that victory. And that might be it, Kennelly. Satisfaction on delivery. Wow, what a match. Here are your... Shut up, Adnan! Oh. You dork. Tito, I am getting sick and tired of you disrespecting your roots in vermin. You wouldn't be nothing without vermin. And you know what, Jay? I wish you would have gone the way of Sasha Derevko and gotten out of here for good. So you know what, you two, you think you're so bad, Ooh, howling at the moon? Well, guess what? You know Vermin never travels alone. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Kevin Martin comes flying in from nowhere. What a sneak attack. Oh, well, he warned him. He said that we don't travel alone. Here they are. Well, the Wolf's out. He's just had an extremely competitive matchup with a friendship farm. I guess I, I should expect Run something rules. Less. Millions have trusted Omega XL to relieve their pain for the last 15 years. No amount of money would have me put my reputation on the line to endorse a product. This product works. Omega XL, a one-of-a-kind anti-inflammatory supplement formulated to help relieve pain caused from inflammation in your back, knees, neck, and joints. Since I've been taking Omega XL, I feel like a new man. I get up in the morning and I'm ready for the day. Omega XL is not fish oil. The secret is it's sourced from green-lipped mussels only found in the pristine waters of New Zealand. It contains a blend of over 30 fatty acids compared to common fish oil. It would take 10 fish oil capsules to get the same benefits of one Omega XL. Why don't that spend your money on something that works. I mean, this works. Omega XL has sold for $70, but today we reduce the price to $39.95. Call now to receive Larry's special offer, a second bottle free, a value of $140 for just $39.95. But you must call now. And if it didn't work, I wouldn't be back in it.
Health Markets compares your current plan with thousands of options nationwide from national insurance companies. With so many changes to health insurance plans, are you still sure you have the right fit? That's why I love Health Markets, your insurance marketplace. They guarantee you won't find a lower price anywhere for the plans they offer. Their new Fit Score instantly compares thousands of plans, both on the government exchange and off, to find the one that best fits your insurance needs. In minutes, you can find out if your current plan is the right fit, or if there's another one that can get you extra coverage or help save you money. Best of all, their service is completely free. You may even qualify for free health insurance with no monthly premiums. The Health Markets Fit Score makes it easy to find the right plan for you. For this free service, call right now. Your insurance marketplace, Health Markets. Call Health Markets today at 1-800-207-1241. That's 1-800-207-1241. The following contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Scranton, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 193 pounds, all that, Keita Murray. Keita Murray, instrumental in a lot of big matches as of late, looking for that elusive victory. But this kid's got tons of potential. If he can put it all together, he'll have his opportunity right here this week. Very, very good luck to Keita Murray. He's going to need it against this man. And introducing his opponent from St. Paul, Minnesota, weighing in at 201 half pounds, Buddy Royal. Great reception here for Buddy Royal, who's going to go it alone after that tumultuous breakup from his former tag team partner, Levi Shapiro. You'll recall Shapiro put that iron claw a while back on Buddy Royal. Buddy Royal recently returning the favor. He had Shapiro locked in that Royal Seal submission. You know what? My head still hurts. And you got to figure Buddy Royal's head still hurts from that claw. Nobody really can fully, uh, can totally recover for something like that. Um, and Buddy Royal, the fans behind him, just shows you how incredibly fickle and fair weather these fans in Hollywood are. Because just a few weeks ago, they were, bo they were booing this young man. Top wrist lock. Transitions to the hammer lock. Into the side headlock. So fluid is the motion here and the mat grappling of Buddy Royal. Yeah, when you can execute a good move or a good hold to hold set, you can make sure that your opponent is definitely going to fall by the wayside little by little, and that's very, very important. Nice fireman's takedown there by Keita Murray. And you gotta wonder, is Buddy Royal gonna be focused on this matchup with Keita Murray? Because some inflammatory statements recently by Levi Shapiro on KGO on ABC up in San Francisco, one of our new television homes of championship wrestling. Basically, Shapiro had an, a whole hour just to talk trash on Buddy Royal, and you gotta, you gotta believe that Buddy Royal taking offense to that. And you, get, you gotta figure that Levi Shapiro is not gonna waste his time talking trash about anybody that doesn't deserve it. And you gotta figure an hour worth of trash talking about somebody says a lot about the character of somebody like Buddy Royal, who obviously deserves all these uh, inflammatory comments, as you say. But Levi Shapiro was clearly the leader of that team. He was the one that was guiding them to greatness, and it was Buddy Royal's mistakes that made, made the break up. Let's not forget that, Ken. Well, Shapiro now a studio analyst up there for championship wrestling up on KGO, and I would implore him to be an unbiased broadcaster, much like I would to you. Well, thank you. I appreciate that, Kennelly. Backing him up into the corner now is Buddy Royal. Oh. Feigning the strike, having a little fun in there with all that. Very, very stupid. Very stupid is that. You're just going to make this man get mad. That's all you're going to do is, is anger him. Look, he's so angry, he can't even get up off the floor. Well, that's one way to get a single leg pick and then one back the other way. Anything you can do, I can do better. A little game of can you top this. Pace quickens. Look out here. Leapfrog by Keita Murray. Looking for the drop down. Buddy Royal wise to it. Turns it into a pinning predicament. Nicely done. Boy, you got to wake up pretty early to get one over on Buddy Royal. Into the cover inside cradle. Counted two again. Great action. Keita Murray is definitely the 
is is the newer one of the two. He's he's the man with the least amount of experience, and you can tell that the experience is speaking volumes for Buddy Royal right now. But the difference between the two is that Keita Murray has something to prove here. Buddy Royal does not. Not only that, but Buddy Royal has all of this this animosity going through his head right now, along with probably some sort of a brain injury from that from that claw from Shapiro. It definitely does not bode well for Royal. If you want my honest opinion, Kennelly, and I know you always do, today belongs to Keita Murray. Remains to be seen. Right now his arm belongs to Buddy Royal, wrenching in the hammerlock. Keita Murray looking for an escape. Finds it, gets that momentum going, and that takes Buddy Royal out to the outside. That's one way to break a hold. Very, very smart by Keita Murray. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if Keita Murray put himself in that position specifically just to, to, to entice Buddy Royal in. That's the kind of man that Keita Murray is. Very, very smart, always ahead of his opponents. Both men on the outside. We'll see if Keita Murray tries to take advantage. He's had a tough go at it inside the squared circle, using his resources on the outside now. Sends Buddy Royal in to that edge of the apron. And you can see Keita Murray just shaking off the arm after receiving that punishment of the hammerlock. Boy, really using the ring as a weapon is Keita Murray. Nicely done, now jawbreaker. And the oh. up kick, he might have knocked him out with that. Center of the ring, dead to rights. No, that hand was coming down. What an amazing victory that would be for Keita Murray to put one over on Buddy Royal. Again, I already said that Buddy Royal is at the disadvantage here, and it proves it wholeheartedly right now that Keita Murray is in charge of this match. Buddy Royal finding his way out of it, though, but the agility of Keita Murray, this youngster, an incredible athlete. And this would be a big feather in his cap if he could get the victory here. Oh, he likes, he likes this out of the corner. He calls that the Kita, the city. Call the mayor into the cover now. Almost puts him away with it. Kita, the city. Kita, this. I Say get that, that five times fast. I get it. I get it. That was that's clever. I like this young man. He's going places, Kennelly. It all starts today with his victory over Buddy Royal. He just needs to capitalize over him. Got to think somewhere watching. On would be Levi Shapiro keeping an eye on this. The exploits of his former partner. This reversal by Buddy Royal. Follows it up with the hip toss. Short back elbow. Buddy Royal starts to roll now. Buddy Royal makes very few mistakes in there. Tough to keep an advantage against him. And you know what? Levi Shapiro, since breaking up with Buddy Royal, has, has had all the cards kind of swing his way. He's got a brand new career. Billy to back suplex. Oh, gonna chain it together now. Look at this. And again, doubling up. Look at the wrist control here, Jasper. Yeah, look at the wrist control. He should have let go at the count of five. Everybody knows that in wrestling. It's the hat trick. The trifecta, call it what you will. Into the cover now. Almost puts him away. Oh, nobody's more surprised than I am. Keita Murray has definitely have a lot of fight and tenacity in him. Very, very good wrestling by Keita Murray, despite all these fans being up behind Buddy Royal. Following in, too much time there for Buddy Royal. Still might be smart a little bit after that key to the city earlier on. E to the city. Great matchup, back and forth action. And now it's Keita Murray using that wrist control. Nicely done. Oh, look out here, trying to lock in that, that royal seal. That royal seal. He had Shapiro locked in it before, and now he gets the win. Here is your winner, Buddy Royal. Buddy Royal able to lock in that Royal Seal submission. He's got the fans behind him. Things are looking up for Buddy Royal as he goes it alone. Well, good. Go it alone all you want. You're going to have to go it again, again and again until you get to Levi Shapiro. Guaranteed your, your number is coming, buddy. Do you use Viagra or Cialis? Have you been thinking about trying Viagra or Cialis? What if we can promise you the same results for less than $3 a pill? If you're paying $20 or more a pill for Viagra, you're getting taken to the cleaners. Our pill delivers the exact same results for less than $3. We'll do the math for you. You'll save more than $16 a pill for the same results. Want more? We'll give you 40 blue pills or 40 yellow pills for $99 and add four more pills free. You save more than $500. 
Stop overpaying for expensive prescriptions. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to know what to do next. You need to call now and get your 44 pills for just $99. Stop overpaying for Viagra. Call us anytime, day or night, and start saving big money for the exact same results. Have your credit card ready. Ordering is fast and easy with your pills delivered to your door in a non-marked package. Call now. If you're like 58% of Americans, you don't have a college degree. Why? It was just a hassle going back and forth to campus. At Independence University, all classes are online. No driving to campus. All the fees and the costs of books? We don't have extra costs. We even give you a new laptop and tablet to keep when you graduate. Four plus years to get a degree? With us, you could finish in three. At a big college, no one cares. Caring about students is what we do best. 1-800-624-4918. The APW Training Academy will help you develop the fundamentals of professional wrestling. The All Pro Wrestling Training Center is now open for enrollment. Contact us today. If you owe $10,000 or more to the IRS or state, this may be the most important phone call you'll ever make. I owed $87,000 in taxes. But listen. Your tax problem is settled. You only owe $3,500. What a great message. I owed $11,000 on my taxes. But now... Congratulations, you only owe $2,068. How's that sound? If you owe $10,000 or more to the IRS or state, then you owe it to yourself to call this number or go to tax10,000.com. Even if you are already at the point where you're struggling with levies and garnishments, let our experts help guide you through the process of negotiating a tax settlement. We owe the IRS $48,000. But check out what we actually paid. Are you sitting down? You only owe $3,571. Call 800-921-1504 or go to tax10,000.com. That's 800-921-1504. The following contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Las Vegas, Nevada, Lazarus! And introducing his opponent, from sunny Southern California, weighing in at 3,000 butterflies, Gentlemen, Jervis! Boo! Boo! Didn't you get that out of your it's system earlier with the tag team matchup? Boo! Uh, Adam Kennelly. Welcome Adam. back, everyone, to Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. Todd Kennelly, Andrew Jasic. And I, for one, am in a good mood anytime Gentleman Jervis is in the Ocean View Pavilion. Drink it in. Sick. Just sick. Sickening. Boo! Hat almost flew in my lap, Kennelly. Gonna try and get some momentum back for the Friendship Farm. We saw Robin Shaw, Super Beetle in tag team action with the Wolf Zaddies earlier on. What a match it was. But the Wolf Zaddies getting the victory. Gentleman Jervis taking on the opposition in the form of Lazarus. Lazarus out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Another new face here under the bright lights of Hollywood. Well, Lazarus might just be the face to be able to wipe off the smile on the face of Jervis. This might be my guy. Yes, uh, you know, it says it right there on the tights. He's going to look to uh, exterminate Ex Gentleman Jervis. And Gentleman Jervis, how many butterflies would he have to exterminate? I forget what Jervis weighed in at. Oh, 3,000 butterflies. Oh, that's right, 3,000. Boy, that would take a lot. Take a lot to exterminate 3,000 butterflies. How many butterflies do you think Robin Shaw weighs? That's got to be like... Four, five tons of butterflies. Take a lot. All right, here we go. You always got to look out for the tickling offense there of Gentleman Jervis. If he gets close, you got to you face Jervis. You, you hope that you have the reach advantage. Yeah, you have to you have to reach advantage. Kennelly, why do you buy into this garbage? Why? I'm, 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 that comes I'm doing my job. I'm doing my job. I'm analyzing the action. Do you want to get tickled when you're in there with Jervis? No, you'd better have the reach. Now, look at this. Stanley, I swear, if you don't stop hitting on me, I'm out of here. Jervis now just taking advantage. Of, you can tell, you can't tell for the mask, but he's biting this poor man right now. Just biting him. What are you talking about? Bite, you didn't see the teeth, teeth in his hands? He's, got, he's biting him through the mask. There you go, Lazarus. Get him. Get him. Lazarus tried to sink in that sleeper hold. And back to square one in this one. 
Still yep. to come in our main event, the new tag team champions. Shocking as that is to say, will be in action. Uh-oh, look out, hold on. Was looking for that Rockabye slam. And I'll tell you, Lazarus thus far has had pretty well scouted, did his homework. Well, he's gonna have to do his homework on the outside now. And someone like Lazarus, you can kind of see it in his eyes. He's, he's almost, I'm not gonna say impervious to pain, but maybe he likes it just a little bit. He's, he's not right, that young man. You could tell there's something going on in his head that isn't quite, quite kosher. You know, Lazarus over that top rope there, but it wasn't an offensive maneuver by Gentleman Jervis. It was Lazarus's momentum that took him up and over, so I'm glad to report no disqualification, but there could be for that. Stringing Jervis up on that top rope. Jervis wanted a hug, he got the bonus plan. That's what I'm talking about. You go in there, you try to hug and tickle your opponents, that's what you're gonna get. You're gonna get that pushback. And Lazarus is not a man to be played with, already taking advantage on the stupid mistakes by Gentleman Jervis. I'll tell you, Lazarus is very aggressive and resourceful. He has kind of been a step ahead. Usually the antics of Gentleman Jervis allow him to get the early advantage and pretty much all of his matchups. That hasn't really been the case here. And nice rear chin lock by Lazarus, really wrenching down. Gentleman Jervis gets to the safety of the ropes. That was a Slow to break there was Lazarus taking advantage. Kennelly, did you see it? Now in the middle of all your yapping, you missed it. But Gentleman Jervis totally tapped out right there. You see it, he tapped twice, boom, boom. And I heard him say, help me, help me. Well, you know, you can hear his voice. I can't do a good, I can't do a good Jervis, but you get the idea. Suplex now by Lazarus, yes. He had made it to the rope, so the, the hold was gonna be broken regardless. You hear him? I hear him still. Sleeper again, Lazarus went for this earlier on. If nothing else, certainly a lot of tenacity here for Lazarus, no nonsense. Jervis digging down deep, watch out. Squashes Lazarus there in the corner, nobody home. As Gentleman Jervis looking to use his assets there. Big shot upstairs. Down goes Jervis. Jervis in big trouble here. Into the cover. Center of the ring. Not able to put him away yet. Didn't quite get all that boot. And if he got all of it guaranteed, that'd be it for Gentleman Jervis. And these fans would be singing a different tune. Let me tell you that, Kennelly. Oh, look at this no, now. Going after Don't you take a Ken picture Isaacs. of me. That's what he said. Don't take a picture of me. You get up here now. Uh, now he, he's... Oh, he just decked Jervis with the cane and now uh, puts the sleeper back on. Oh, that's it. The, the body scissors. No, oh my goodness. Help me. What an upset this is going to be. I quit. Jervis is out. He got hit by a cane. I quit. It's not the effects of the sleeper. Will you stop it, Jesse? This is it, Kennelly. Charlatan. Go to sleep. No, oh, Jervis. He's got a couple butterflies that are still flapping their wings. He's got something left. There's obviously some sort of a padding or something like that in Jervis's mask. He clearly got his head taken off by that Kane Kennelly. Back elbow, well, Jervis now has, in essence, be, been resurrected here, fittingly enough, in there with Lazarus, I guess. But Jervis getting his second win. Look out. Swing and a miss. Spear by Gentleman Jervis. He's turned this thing around in a big way. I am Much very, to your very, chagrin. Very, very, very surprised is what I am, Kennelly. Oh, oh no. Quiet, please. Oh no. Here we go. Rockabye drop time. I swear I'm gonna yell as, high, as, as loud as I can, Kelly. Goodbye, yeah. Just set him right down there into that Lazarus pit. That's right. Quiet now. Referee. Oh, quiet count. Very well done there by the official, and that's gonna do it. No. <laughs> Here is your winner, gentlemen, Jervis. And the cheers of the faithful. Waking Lazarus up from that nap. Let's take a look back at the action. Brought to you by Lights Out Extreme Fighting. Coming your way March 13th. Heavyweight title fight. Bulletproof Troop takes on Mike Quintero for the heavyweight title. Here we see at the Rockabye drop. No. Puts him down. The one, two, three. And the fanfare in the Ocean View Pavilion. Waking up Lazarus. Only to find out he was on the losing end of things. And standing by our own, Jeff Resnick. <laughs> All right. Welcome back. Uh, all right. <laughs> Thank you, Jervis. Jervis, gentlemen, Jervis. Big win just now over Lazarus. How are you feeling coming off of the big victory? Well, you know, I'm undefeated here at Championship Wrestling in 2020 as of today. And 
Well, I'm a member of the Friendship Express, and I'm here to make friends with everyone. I've always been told I had a heart of gold. I think I'm ready for some gold around my waist. So stay tuned, 2020, because Gentleman Jervis is going to the top. I love you all. Attention. If you've had a hernia surgery after 2006 and suffered from serious side effects such as infection, chronic pain, organ damage, mesh shrinkage, or mesh migration, you could be eligible for financial compensation. Call the law offices of Wright & Schulte right now at the number on your screen or visit meshjustice.com now. Ethicon, a subsidiary of Johnson & Johnson, has withdrawn its Physio Mesh Flexible Composite Mesh from the market. Again, if you've had complications from your hernia surgery after 2006, you could be eligible for financial compensation. We can find out what type of devices were used in your surgery. Call the law offices of Wright & Schulte immediately at the number on your screen or visit meshjustice.com now. You deserve justice and the call is free. And there is no fee unless we win your case. Call now for your free case evaluation. Again, call the law offices of Wright & Schulte immediately at the number on your screen or visit meshjustice.com now. Has your AC busted, computer crashed, appliance broken? Then you need ARW, American Residential Warranty. Hi, it's me, Anthony Sullivan. And yes, you've actually caught me at home relaxing because life's been pretty worry-free since I got coverage with American Residential Warranty. Home appliance repairs and replacement can cause stress and cost you over $3,000 per year. But ARW has home warranty plans starting at less than a dollar a day. My air conditioning broke on a Sunday. It was so hot, I called ARW and they came out and fixed it right away. You won't believe what ARW covers. Heating and air conditioning, washers and dryers, kitchen appliances, plumbing, water heating, electrical systems, flat screens and laptops, even pools and spas, and so much more. All plans are fully customizable and come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Call now and get a home security system free with any plan. Call American Residential Warranty. They'll get you covered. Call to find out which home warranty plan is right for you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Jeff Resnick here at Championship Wrestling from Hollywood, standing here with Halston Bo body, Austin. What, what, what's wrong? What? Who are you? What is? Where's Kathy? What is this? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm Jeff Resnick. We're, we're celebrating 10 years here, our 10 year anniversary here at Championship Wrestling from Hollywood, bringing back faces from across the past decade, and including yours truly. I was here on day one, and I got to tell you, I'm really excited to meet you. Yeah, great. No one asked, darlings. We're here to talk about Heather Monroe, the Killer Bay. Well, uh, speaking of Heather, uh, I was going to ask you about uh, the special stipulation for match three in the best of seven series. Uh, once again, that is none of your business. However, Miss Lacey Ryan, oh, I know you are sitting at home crying into your pillow after two stinging losses against Heather Monroe. But darling, listen to me. Here's some free advice and listen up because I don't give it out for free very often. Study Heather Monroe. Get online. Watch all the video you can. If you need to put toothpicks in your eyelids and pour energy drinks into them, do it. Because at the PP3 Cup Finals, there's going to be a very special stipulation just waiting for you. The following contest is a non-title tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, at a combined weight of 349 pounds, Adriel Noctis and Sketch Wasted Youth. Wasted Youth hoping not to waste this opportunity, a chance to mix it up with the reigning United Tag Team Champions. A victory here could certainly earn them a shot down the line. Social degenerate nerds, that's all I'm gonna say, Kennelly. They have absolutely no place with these two men coming out right now, my absolute favorites. And introducing their opponents, being come to the ring by Ray Rosas. At a combined weight of 367 pounds, they are the United World Tag Team Champions, Andy Brown and Adrian Quest. Main event time here on Championship Wrestling from Hollywood, the new Tag Team Champions, 
Adrian Quest answering the open challenge of the then champions, the Soul Burners, coming out here. Called Russ Taylor to the carpet, saying a former friend didn't have his back when the time came. And then bringing out Andy Brown as, as his partner, making history, winning the tag team titles. And now they're here in our main event. Titles will not be on the line, but certainly high profile tag team action coming your way. A new attitude, a newfound connection with nobody as Young Fuego. Look at this man, completely changed the game. Nobody was expecting it. Nobody was expecting Andy Brown to be his partner. What a devastating force this is. I can tell you this right now, that, that Sketch and Noctis have absolutely no prayer in hell of winning this match today. Well, many have counted out Wasted Youth in the past, but they've gotten some big victories over their time here in championship wrestling. And a couple of big battles recently with the Wolf Zaddies. But, you know, if they can take on and defeat the champions, certainly would put themselves right in the top of the heap in contention for the tag team titles. And Adrian Quest, not the only one who's really changed, maybe showing his true colors. I don't know which it is, but his partner, Andy Brown, as well, used to come out here, was a fan favorite, was a red carpet rumble winner, was a heritage champion. And now, you know, just like a malcontent. I just don't get it. Well, What's it gonna take? Now they're champions and they still don't seem happy. They seem miserable. Well, let me tell you something, Kennelly, it wasn't, it wasn't a positive attitude that brought Adrian Quest any sort of, of victories or longevity. Sure, the people loved him, but you only get so far with that. What happened when he was, when he was on the people's side? He got screwed out of titles, and then, and then somebody like Ray Rosas and An Andy Brown comes over to him, lets him know just how screwed up this place is, and now he sees it for what it really is, and now he's a champion, Kennelly. Goes to show you that your attitude dictates how you win victories. Tag is made, and Andy Brown checking in, or at least so we think. Andy Brown, is he's, he's in. He's been in. He's taking his time. Very methodical. Very smart is Andy Brown. You hear they're saying crazy Andy Brown. Crazy Andy Brown. They love this guy. Uh, I, I heard lazy, but, you know, say what you will. Adriel knocked us in there as well. It's youngster. Just will keep a frenetic pace. You gotta be careful when you're in there with him. He can strike, as you're seeing here, great strike counters, the knee and the elbow. Making Andy Brown eat the sandwich. And keeping oh. Andy Brown guessing, going zero to painful in about 1.5 seconds there was Noctis. Bullhead of steam, oh, a little sacrifice play there by Young Fuego. Call it what you want, he wasn't even the legal man. And look, he was trying to attack Ray Rosas right there. Do you see that? Ray Rosas minding his own business, going out to attack Ray Rosas. Gets what he deserves, little punk. Elevated now by Andy Brown. Well, Ray Rosas should mind his own business. Andy Brown now going for the cover on Noctis. Ray Rosas will be in action next week as he takes on his former protege, Jordan Clearwater, in our second PP3 semifinal matchup, of course. Anthony Idol already advanced. Guess who he, who he beat to get there? Andy Brown. Okay, well, you trying to rub salt in the wounds? You really think that matters? Who cares, Kennelly? Who cares, in oh, the words of Ray Rosas? Gotta Rose go through this again. Who cares? Ice is now thrown out like yesterday's garbage. Nobody cares about him. Yeah, and look, look, yeah, well, what, okay, so what, what, what are you trying to say? I'm trying, trying to say there's say? an illegal double team going on on the outside as Ray Rosas is not in this matchup officially. Eating the stairs is Noctis. Well, that's what Noctis gets for sticking his nose where it don't belong. He's always trying to attack Ray Rosas earlier. What is Ray Rosas doing at ringside? Why is he not doing it at ringside? He's motivating these two men. Grinding the knuckles now into the lower back there of Noctis. Just, you talk about salt in the wounds. We're seeing it right here. Well, you know what? You do what you can to wear down your opponent. Andy Brown knows it. Adrian Quest knows it. As a matter of fact, Adrian Quest probably just held all that back just for the sake of pleasing these idiots and realized it got him nowhere. Much more deliberate pace by both Andy Brown and Adrian Quest since their change in demeanor. Making the shots count. Back elbow there by Young Fuego. And you know, Adrian Quest, when he was coming in before and the crowd loved him, he was doing all this 
high flying off the top rope and all this jumping and spinning around. Notice he's not doing that anymore, Ginnelly. He realized this gets him nowhere. Go in there, slow, methodical, take advantage of your opponent. That's what you do. The tag team champions dominant thus far in this non-title main event. We'll be back with more right after this. Health Markets compares your current plan with thousands of options nationwide from national insurance companies. With so many changes to health insurance plans, are you still sure you have the right fit? That's why I love Health Markets, your insurance marketplace. They guarantee you won't find a lower price anywhere for the plans they offer. Their new Fit Score instantly compares thousands of plans, both on the government exchange and off, to find the one that best fits your insurance needs. In minutes, you can find out if your current plan is the right fit, or if there's another one that can get you extra coverage or help save you money. Best of all, their service is completely free. You may even qualify for free health insurance with no monthly premiums. The Health Markets Fit Score makes it easy to find the right plan for you. For this free service, call right now. Your insurance marketplace, Health Markets. Call Health Markets today at 1-800-207-1241. That's 1-800-207-1241. Millions have trusted Omega XL to relieve their pain for the last 15 years. No amount of money would have me put my reputation on the line to endorse a product. This product works. Omega XL, a one-of-a-kind anti-inflammatory supplement formulated to help relieve pain caused from inflammation in your back, knees, neck, and joints. Since I've been taking Omega XL, I feel like a new man. I get up in the morning and I'm ready for the day. Omega XL is not fish oil. The secret is it's sourced from green-lipped mussels only found in the pristine waters of New Zealand. It contains a blend of over 30 fatty acids compared to common fish oil. It would take 10 fish oil capsules to get the same benefits of one Omega XL. Why don't I spend your money on something that works? I mean, this works. Omega XL has sold for $70, but today we reduce the price to $39.95. Call now to receive Larry's special offer, a second bottle free, a value of $140 for just $39.95. But you must call now. And if it didn't work, I wouldn't be back in it. Hey, I'm Watts. The United Wrestling Network is partnering with Pro Wrestling Cares along with West Coast Pro Wrestling and Defy Wrestling to help raise money for civil rights organizations. It's important to donate because without your help, nothing will be accomplished. Things will stay the way they are, oppression will continue, and nothing will get better. If you have the means, please donate. Any amount helps. Thank you. Quest dominant throughout the break. And again, it's this no-nonsense approach that they're taking right now. They don't make a lot of mistakes. There's no flash. Yeah, very smart. Very, very smart are, are these two young young gentlemen. And you know what? Like, Sketch hasn't even gotten in the, in the ring. Like, what? Has he been there for, like, one move? Very, very smart. Keep that man tired and defeated in there. That's what they're doing. West looked to pick up the, the uh, pace there, but ran right into the offense of Adriel Noctis. Desperation strikes there by Noctis. And if he can make the tag, to your point, Sketch, very fresh on the outside, has only been in oh. for precious seconds in this matchup. The skate park scumbag, Sketch, checks in. I obviously said that way too loud. He obviously didn't hear me before. Spinning neck breaker, beautifully executed there by Sketch. Got Andy Brown in trouble. Andy Brown, decorated champion on this program. Current tag team title holder. Former Heritage champ, look at this. Beautiful German suplex releases into the cover. What a win this will be. No, close call. Gonna take a lot more than that, Kenley, to put down the likes of Andy Brown. I guarantee you this. Doesn't matter how much the fans are behind you. If you ain't got the tenacity in the heart like someone like Andy Brown and Adrian Quest does, you have no shot at winning this. If by a lot more you mean a fraction of a second, then I would agree with you as Wasted Youth almost put away the tag team champions seconds ago. Almost only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. Let me tell you something, Kennelly, anything can happen in the blink of an eye. Speaking of which, this is not good for Andy Brown. Brown was looking for the COD, but he eats a big roundhouse instead. Stunner by Sketch. German suplex by Noctis, stacking him up. All the body weight down, and that was close. Split second save by Adrian Quest. Very, very smart again now. These two working together, they're gelling as a team, they're harmonizing as a unit. Very, very good by Andy Quest, or by Adrian Quest and, and Andy Brown. Hey, Andy Quest, that'd be an awesome name. There you go, yeah, print the t-shirts. I got Just you. Make sure Hashtag you, Andy Quest. Make sure you get a commission. 
Sketch taking Quest to the outside, but Quest is dangerous everywhere. And a man that hasn't even gone to the top rope yet has a lot of energy to expel, I guarantee you that. Look out here, what, what is Noctis doing? Noctis trying to climb the other corner. Meanwhile, Sketch in deep trouble here, double stomp by Quest. Oh! Now the Meteora off the top. Something's gotta give here. Big offense by a member of both teams. Both teams are cheating. Or bo both members of this team are cheating, Kennelly. That man should have been up there, what, for the count of five? Not disqualified. Look at this now, taking advantage of, of somebody that was not even in the, in the match. I don't even think he's a legal man at this point. Oh, look at this beautiful offense by Noctis. It, it's in essence one-on-one -on -one right now, and Noctis had the advantage as Sketch starts to stir. Something stirring, I guarantee you that. Look at this, he's pulling, his, he's pulling his partner over so he can make the tag. What a bunch of cheaters these guys are. Pretty smart if you ask me. Oh, he's not looking for the tag right now. They're looking to put him away, looking for that proving ground knee. They've gotten a lot of wins. Oh, get Rosas out of there. <laughs> this could have been over. Well, you have two oh, men in there. Uh -oh. oh, no. Watch out, incoming. Sketch takes out Rosas who was anything but an innocent bystander, quite frankly. Back to the double team action here by Wasted Youth, not wasting any time now. Look out here, IQ changing knee strike by Andy Brown, one of the most prolific strikers we've ever seen, COD. That's enough to cover him right there, Kelly. That's enough to put him away, and Andy Brown knows it. He said, kick him in the head. He said, you kick him in the head. What is this now? Oh, no, no, see? no, not like this. Look at this. Oh! A super kick into the pile driver. What a devastating double team maneuver that was. It's over. Here are your winners, Andy Brown and Adrian Quest. Big victory there. We take a look back at the action. Brought to you by Lights Out Extreme Fighting. Titles weren't on the line this time, but oh no. Wasted Youth gave it everything they had. This is disgusting and uncalled for. Uh, disgusting and uncalled for. That's what you get for picking on a man on the outside. Do not mess with these three gentlemen. I guarantee you they are more dominating than you'll ever be. These kids. These kids gave it everything they had, and now this is what they get. Oh, we're gonna see it again. Oh, oh my no. God, not the title! The super kick with the championship title, and look at the eyes of Noctis. Just devastating, these three men leaving all this carnage in the ring. Standing tall, the tag team champions. Rosas in the semifinals next week. These three have got lots of power, a vulgar display of power. We'll see you next time. The proceeding has been a presentation of the United Wrestling Network.